Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of R Masterclass. In this tutorial, we will discuss about a data visualization package in R which is called PyCharter. And I'm going to compare it with ggplot2 uh, which is another data visualization package in R which is very important. And I'm going to discuss why I think PyCharter is better in some scenarios than ggplot2. So let's begin. So first of all, to get started with PyCharter, you have to um, install this PyCharter package. So to install this PyCharter package, you have to type in the console or in the R script um, as you wish. So type install dot packages and then double quotation and type PyCharter. Okay, and if you run this line of code then hijarter package will start installing uh, in your r studio so after in installing hijarter package you just have to uh, run this line of code library hijarter and load the uh, hijarter package so i will load my hijarter package right now and you will need the deployer package because in hijarter we usually use the piping operator a lot so deployer package is a must so Hijarter has some inbuilt themes just like ggplot2. Like ggplot2 has some inbuilt themes like a theme minimal, theme black and white, theme gray. And similarly, uh, Hijarter also has some inbuilt themes like theme no, 538 is one, theme SMPL is another, theme superheroes is another. So uh, in this tutorial, in our tutorial, I will use uh, theme 538. And then I use this tooltip and value decimal is equals to 2. Okay, this is uh, I'm saying that um, show only two digit after uh, decimal point. Okay, so I'm going to run this line also. So now I am importing the data. So the data is actually top 100 brands. So it the data is actually showing uh, top 100 brands uh, position, uh, its previous position, uh, its brand value, its previous brand value. So now I will just uh, apply some pre-processing. Uh, you don't have to do the pre-processing, and I will uh, provide the data in the description box, the clean data. So if you follow with my tutorial, so you can easily follow uh, with my tutorial. Okay, the data has been cleaned. So now it has uh, 100 observation, meaning 100 brands uh, from top to bottom. So rank one to rank 100 now it's time for pie chart so to generate pie chart uh, we are aggregating the number of brands by the rating they have okay so there are uh, different ratings like if we um, run the code table uh, data and then sorry So see, there are seven types of rating: A plus, double A, double A minus, double A plus, triple A, triple A minus, triple A plus. So there are seven types of um, seven types of ratings. So we want to know that uh, what are the, the brands distribution uh, in these ratings. So if I run this line of code, and if I see, so we see that there are two brands uh, having A plus rating. There are thirty brands having triple A plus, triple A rating, and so on now we will use this uh, pi data and uh, generate our um, pie chart so uh, to generate our pie chart okay let me just delete this thing uh, we don't need this okay so if i uh, run this so it will uh, generate a pie chart so let's wait a bit um oh okay, okay. sorry 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 um, okay Okay, it will generate the pie chart here. So see, uh, this is the generated pie chart with default color, default colors for the uh, categories. Okay, and it is showing the, the number, the number of brands per ratings. Okay, now suppose uh, you don't want uh, these uh, default color themes, you want a different color themes. So I have loaded a library here. Let me load a library, library. Here it is. This is just a simple uh, color brewer package. It has some inbuilt colors. So I am I have loaded this library now, and in this Viridis uh, package, there are some uh, pre-built 
color palettes so and i like this inferno color palette a lot so i will so i will take this inferno color palette and this seven indicating that uh, generate seven colors okay seven colors for seven uh, type of ratings and now what you can do now you can give a comma here and type color equals to colors let me run it again so here see uh, this is the custom color uh, for the uh, different type of ratings so how actually uh, this uh, pie chart actually worked so high charter actually took inspiration from the ggplot2 so first of all what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, enter the data you want to use and then use the piping operator and inside and then uh, you have to use this a chart so this a chart is actually working like the ggplot uh, when we are plotting the ggplot uh, plotting the ggplot charts okay and and then you have to type uh, what type of uh, chart you want to um, plot so i want to plot a pie chart so i have to use double quotation or single quotation as your wish and then type pie and this hcaes is actually you know, working like just like the ggplot2 package aesthetics so um, this hcaes actually meaning that high charter aesthetics so in high charter aesthetics i i put uh, x is equals to rating uh, y is equals to brand and color is our custom color palette okay which is inferno so and uh, one more thing you don't have to use inferno you just you can use just uh, concatenate and uh, just uh, put uh, seven uh, different colors so where seven different colors so you can get hex code of colors just uh, go on google and search for uh, color picker and you can just generate uh, different colors okay different hex code of colors and you just have to put those colors and give commas and then uh, just like this array of color uh, your custom color will be generated and then you can use your own uh, custom colors uh, for these number of ratings okay this type of ratings uh so where was i this color so you can use the custom colors or you can use inbuilt uh, package uh, color palettes and then this data level so if i uh, give this data level false it won't show the the numbers the numbers here okay the 16 the 6 the 2 the 14 it won't show this so i have to uh, enable this true and now uh, in the format section uh, i am saying that show point name so what is point name this is the type the rating type and show a uh, point percentage okay so what is the point percentage so this is point percentage or if i just type y uh, it will work i think let's see yeah so uh, i am uh, giving here the y so y meaning uh, that show the value of y so why is our brand so there are uh, in triple a minus there are 16 brands so it will show the 16 and uh, this is the just format okay so you can uh, customize your format just like this and high chatter has incredible customization support so if you guys want me to start a new high charter tutorial uh, from basics to advanced level just let me know in the comments okay and i will try my best to <clears throat> start a new high charter uh, playlist okay and now uh, use the piping operator again and you can use this hc title to generate a title okay so i have uh, i have named the title as number of brands by ratings so this is how you can generate the pi data now you can say um, hey ahmed this is actually an interactive plot so how we can actually use it on our pdf or our just static documents so it's very easy you just go to export save as image and just fix your optimal size uh, i think this size is better you have just noticed that it just automatically fixes its size okay and then just uh, select your directory and save it so similarly uh we are uh, generating the bar chart here so see i have uh, i have created a new data set uh, where created the brand value by uh, different types of ratings okay so bar chart showing average brand value by ratings okay 
So here similarly what I did I just took the new data set I created and then I use this age chart function and I am saying that I want to plot a bar chart and then I am uh, fixing my aesthetics that you now y for values and in y show the brand value and in x show the um the rating okay and the color by rating okay for bar chart it actually shows the transpose view of the actual bar chart like the x rating will be on y axis and this y value on will be on the x axis if you type show in legend equals to f the legend will not show if you just uh, keep it uh, true type true or keep uh, capital letter t uh, it will show the legend and i have uh, fixed the max size as 15 percent and data levels okay so because i have entered this data level true it is showing the uh, exact value here okay and similarly the we, we use this title uh, for to show the title we use the subtitle for the subtitle and y axis for the y axis caption x axis for the x axis caption okay so similarly you can also um, export these just going to save as image and fix your optimal size click on save and it will just save the static version of the plot and similarly i have generated the bubble chart If you get the idea of the bar chart and pie chart, you will also easily understand the, the mechanics behind the, the bubble chart and then scatter chart. Okay. And this is showing a line chart. Okay, great. Now, uh, now let us go for the source. Okay. So this is the uh, official high charter uh, packages website. So in this website, if you start from here, uh, you start from here, here, bignet high charter, and then showcase, and then high charts API, and then JS API basics. And if you just uh, go through the whole blogs, these four blogs, you will be a master in high charter package in no time. And high charter package has so many customization ability i just got surprised by just seeing the uh, customization ability of the high charter it is very beautiful very beautifully it can be very beautifully optimized very beautifully modified and and beautiful visualization is actually uh, so great to see like uh, i think this is the theme collection or uh, let me just show you the theme collection the theme collection is awesome so see uh, this is uh, all these there are six type of graphs uh, using this smpl theme and if i just click on the ggplot2 theme so there so these are the six uh, graphs in ggplot2 theme and uh, and this superheroes theme is very uh, very inspiring so superhero type font with superhero type you know just fun to use things so yeah and uh, actually the high charter uh, package is rendered from high charts javascript package javascript data visualization package so if you just type high charts go here uh, go to demo high charts demo so so if you know the javascript a little and if you just go inside the plots view options and so that's it guys uh, let me know in the comments if, if you want a descriptive tutorial or a tutorial series for high charter so i will actually um, divide the tutorials part to parts like uh, from a basic to advanced level of high charter tutorials okay and best of luck i hope this tutorial has been a fun journey for you all and if you enjoy this video uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you